Hello and welcome. It is October 24th, release date of City Skylines 2, if you're a regular person like me and don't get access to the early access versions. Without further ado, let's start by creating our world. Sweeping planes. Wow, that does look good. What's the buildable area there, though? Only 31% of it is buildable. I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, San Francisco, I want to leave. River Delta looks promising. It does look promising. I think I'm going to go with River Delta. Now, what's the buildable area here? 42%? Is that like the most you can get? Yeah, 42% is pretty big. Okay, let's go with River Delta. Okay, so this is our very first world. It's called Kefili. Can't wait to get started. Now, one of the things I do know about this new game, because I've been watching a little bit of Biffa, so I do know a little bit about this game before we get going. I know the industries, if I click on them, I think, yeah. You see, we've got the wind direction. Now that matters because if we set up a, an industry right here and then had a bunch of uh, residential buildings right there, they would get lots of pollution and they just wouldn't grow. They wouldn't like it. So we need to bear that in mind. When we are making these places, we don't want our residential areas to be interrupted by um, industry pollution, right? So we need to make sure we're taking that into consideration. I do want to, I think this will become an industrial zone. But for right now, I think I may have to zone industry just along the edge of it because I don't think I'll have the means to um, to create a district yet. I think that's later in the game. But this is a really good starting point for us. I'm glad that they've drawn that in. So this will be a sort of a really simple residential area to start with. And I'll just I'll come down closer to this road with the residential, I think. So let's actually start by getting our services set up. Now, we do need to set up a water pumping station. I think we can do a groundwater pumping station to get it from these places or we can just do it from the river. I'm thinking we might go with the cheaper. <laughs> so uh, this is 10,000. How much is this? 20,000. That's a lot more expensive. Gosh. OK, and then we've got water towers, which is 30,000. Hmm, this seems like the way to go. Low pollution. All of these are low pollution. I think I might go with a water pumping station here at the edge. Um, water direction. Can we see this if I zoom in? Does it show us this? What about if I click on this one? Does it show it? It's quite it's quite still. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Yeah, the water seems to be not flowing. What if I press play? Oh, here we go. I just needed to press play and then pause again. And now I can see where the water's flowing. Right. That's a little tip for you all. First tip of the season. <laughs> if you want to know how to get your, your water set up, um, you need to press play first. Okay, well, I've got electricity over here. Maybe I should put my services over this side of the map. Actually, this is where my industry is going to go eventually, so maybe I shouldn't. Where am I going to want to set up my sewage pipe? If I set up sewage, like over here. So there's sewage, and then we'll use a pumping station, and we'll just pump from, like, right here. There we go. And I think then if I grab a water pipe, I can probably get that to connect up to the road. Like that, yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to need a sewage pipe to connect this one over to the road as well. Perfect. Okay, so that's connected up. And now we're going to need power. Now, I could create a power plant, which I might do. But I know I can just drag in ele electricity from the outside world, which I think will probably be the best way to start. So I'm going to go to here for now. And uh, we'll, we'll get that all piped in uh, in the near future. I'm going to now set up some roads. Let's get cracking on the roads. Gosh, we're already there. So uh, we've got this road set up already. Not sure if I like just how square this is. I'm going to just quickly delete this. Who knows? We might just build it back in. I'm not sure. But I want to set up sort of more um, of a, a main road system. So I've got this one here. I wonder if I should connect this up. Maybe I should. Um, no, I think they would just use that then as like a through road, wouldn't they? Oh, I just realized I needed to connect it up to those. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, let's bring this out just a little bit longer. Let's bring it out to here. OK, and then we're going to bring out a road over in this direction that's going to come up quite close to the highway. And this is where a lot of my residential is going to be. Then I'm going to have industrial over this side. So I'm going to bring this out this way. There we go. I think that's probably good. Maybe I should make like one more main road that comes sort of through here and maybe goes over. That would be interesting. No, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave that there. OK, so we're going to get small roads next. And now we're going to build just some zoning places. So I know we can use, I think this is the grid. Grid, yeah, we can use that. 
I'll do my grid off this road. I'll just come up over there at the end. And I think if I go... Oh, where's the grid? How do I do the grid? Does it tell me? Place point A and point B, then drag sideways to create the perfect... Oh, okay, so I can just do that. And then... Oh, okay. Oh, and you can move it up. Okay, perfect. Right. Now, I know it worked something like this because I've seen other people playing it, but I didn't know exactly how to do it. If I bring it right up to there, and I'll have it connect up... Uh, I'll have it connect up here, like that. And then... I'm thinking this could become a main road that goes around the edge of this place, couldn't it? That is a possibility. For right now, we'll we'll stick with that. Now, I'm going to want to do some industrial... Oh, it's a bit slow. That was a bit laggy. Did you see that? For right now, I'm going to do some industrial buildings over here. So I'm going to, again, grab my grid. I want these to be kind of away from the public's viewing. Uh, so I'll bring it over this way. And I'm just going to make it... I don't want it to be too close. So I'm going to do that that seems okay i wonder if i should just come over one more there we go okay that um looks okay that's kind of up on a hill isn't it i didn't put on contours that'll do okay so we've got an industry area zoned in we've got a residential and commercial area ish zoned in i might just actually do something like for commercial i'm thinking i could uh why have i got oh i'm doing asymmetric roads here let's upgrade these uh which ones did i do it on there we go so that one it was just this one okay that's at least that's okay it's not the end of the world okay that one's fine are those asymmetric or are those normal those are normal okay perfect i can't believe i did the wrong one there uh so what i'm thinking is i could do something like if i bring this out and up i'm just thinking i could potentially uh why don't they meet up? i wish they would marry up better i don't like that if i go from here to say there then come down do they marry up better now they do i'm just thinking about making like a commercial place like that so i'll do that and then i'll do probably just some more housing over here maybe i'll do that like on an angle that would be interesting so if i did something like this does that work oh it does oh it even intercepts oh i like this right uh so if i go from uh this point do maybe like 120 degrees there we go. And then do something like this. I like it. Now I should be able to do something like if I do uh, this one. I'll do them straight to start with. Can I get them to meet up? I can. Oh, this is going to be fun. Right. <laughs> I just want things to be at slightly different angles. I don't want everything to look square, you know. Let's just do that for now. There we go, and... Oh, I could have done one more. Hmm. What if I go... from here... out to there. That works. And then come out again to there. And then bring that in line with that one. And then down to there. There we go. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah, that looks a little bit different. I didn't want it all to just be one sort of grid, right? That would be yucky for our first episode. All right, so we've done a lot of grid work. Jeez, that took up a lot of budget. Um, let's see now. I need to get electricity in over here. I've got it to there. So if I do, I think it's a transformer station I need. I'll do that right there. And then I, can, I think I can just bring this in. So if I click on the right point here... There we go. So that's been brought in. So now this should all be connected up to an external grid. And then I just need to double check on the water pipes because I did kind of mess those up, didn't I? I could probably delete actually a large part of that. Uh, page down. There we go. Yeah, because I don't need all of this now. I can actually just have it connect over here. And same with this one. I don't need all of this now. Uh, so if I get my water pipes again, I can do this to there. And then, did that work? Yep, that worked. And then I can do uh, this one. Will it connect? Where does it connect to? Do I need to zoom in? Oh, it's not connecting very well, is it? How, how do I connect? <laughs> do I need to get like, oh, you need to get like over it in a certain way. Uh, page, what if I do page down more? Maybe I just need to do that. There we go. I just need to do page down. Okay. It's, that's actually quite frustrating. The levels matter like that. Um, 
But oh well, right, kind of realistic, I guess, I suppose. Okay, we've got power, we've got water, we've got roads. Now all we need is zoning. Right, so let's start off with some residential zoning. And I'm going to do this, I think I'm going to do this over here near the highway to start with. So let's just zone in. Uh, do I want to do this near the highway? Yeah, let's do something. Oh no, I don't want to do it like this though, do I? I want to do marquee selection. What way do I want these houses being built? I think I want them being built off of these streets. Uh, basically, I watched Biffer and he said that if you do right to the edge, sometimes you have houses want to go on the other sides of the streets and that can cause issues. But it just looks, looks silly, apparently. There we go. So there's those zoned in. Uh, I do think, actually, this would be a really good place for a shopping centre. Hmm. Yeah, it would. But we'll leave it for now. So let's press play and let's see how that unfolds. OK, we've got our first citizens moving in. That's a great start. Uh, let's see, have we got... Um, where's our citizens? Oh, no, we've got no citizens yet. Maybe we need to, like, speed this up. Speed up this process just a little bit. Uh, quite like our road network, though. I think we've set that up quite well. What does this need? Oh, this needs power. Oh, and a road. OK, so if I do a road connection uh, like that. There we go. So that's got a road. Does the other one need a road? sewage does this need a road no it doesn't okay kind of like real life because i think in real life you don't need those near a road you just need a pipe right <laughs> that's all it is okay so that's set up fine we do have people hopefully moving in oh what's this a wooden support structure with a roof on top of the bridge deck a two-lane wooden covered bridge is this for cars hang on so if i do page up Let's just take a look at this. This is new. Oh my gosh, I, that must be for pedestrians, right? Oh no, it's actually for cars. Oh, that's really cool. I've seen these in like real life. I've definitely been on a bridge like this before. I don't know where, can't remember. I love warm weather. Drummond, are you our first resident? Oh my gosh, Drummond Landry is our first citizen. Educated, adult, Landry family. Household wealth is wretched. Okay, hang on. Let's pause the game. We need to create some jobs. Uh, we, oh, yeah. Look at the demand down here. So let's create some jobs for uh, Drummond. <laughs> uh, now, I think uh, we can follow citizens. So if I click on this, there we go. We're now following Drummond Landry. So we'll see all their tweets and we'll be able to see what they're doing, which is quite interesting, I think. Uh, let's get some commercial zoning in so that they've got somewhere to work. Uh, well, we're going to zone in commercial on this street here. I'm not sure whether I want it to go this way or the other way. Hmm. I think I'll do it this way. So this is going to be our commercial street here. I might upgrade this over time and make it more densely populated commercial. But uh, for now, I think that will be just fine. Uh, OK, so Drummond now has a place to work. But those places of work also need... Um, some industry to give them goods, right? So I'm going to set that up and I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do one square over here for now. There we go. So they're quite far away, but hopefully that will be, that will satisfy the criteria to get Drummond, hopefully into a job. I also, I feel like, um, oh, what's this? Grand opening, find us. Oh, look at this. We can click on, if we click on this, it will take us to where it's opening. So over here, if we watch this now, I think this should show us the uh, the new building being built in in just a second. Let's have a look around. OK, so we've got these quite nice houses. Now, this is supposed to be European style houses. And I've got to be honest, I'm not set on them. I'm really not. I don't think they look very European. Maybe like Scandi, like, you know, Norway, um, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, those areas. I think they probably will have houses that look like that. Germany, perhaps. But I tell you what, um, in the UK, you will not find a house that looks like this. You just won't. Uh, I don't even think you'd find a house that looks like this. So, uh, yeah, they're not... It's not like British homes. It's like other European homes. But at least European. So, you know, that's something. Right, let's get rid of this bridge because we built it in for no reason whatsoever. But it's a really cool bridge. Do I need to do page up to just to delete this? I do. I'm literally melting in this heat. What a world. Is it hot? We must live in a, in a hot world. Plenty of free time. Drummond, what's going on, mate? He's melting. Does anyone else just praise the sun? 
All right, my first day at... Re oh, has he got a job? He's got a job. That's amazing. One employee. Oh my gosh, he's got a job, guys. Yeah, let's have a look. Household, resident, occupation, employee, job level, senior. He works at um, Rebroom? Uh, um, Reboom? Bomb? Whatever that's called. Yeah, okay. So he's got a job. That's good. Sells plastics. Okay, that's pretty cool. I love that it shows us that they've got jobs and stuff. That's so cool. Uh, let's click up here and just have a check to see what this panel actually contains. So we've got uh, roads. We've got traffic. Uh, what does traffic show us? That shows us... I mean, there's literally no traffic there, but apparently it's orange. Okay. Um, electricity. Um, this is showing us nothing because I haven't created a power plant or anything yet. I will do this eventually, though. Uh, residential. That shows us our, our values, I'm guessing. It does... Uh, what's this? Company profitability. Average commercial profit, ad average industrial profit, and average office profit. Wow! So commercial are making a 22% profit. Industrial are making a 9% profit. So they're making some money. That's good going. Uh, we don't, we haven't done anything with taxes yet. Happiness is not great. <laughs> um, work, uh, what's this? Workplace availability. And educated, poorly educated, educated, well educated. Open positions, 246. Jeez. I've got 36 employees so far and only 24 population. So I don't know how that's working. Um, what else have we got? Air pollution. So if I click on air pollution, you can see these guys are going to pollute. And ground pollution, none so far. Noise pollution, a little bit from this main road. And water pollution, none so far. I think, or a little bit over here. That's really cool. Um, the profitability though that's amazing oh we've just made tiny village your efforts are bearing fruit and your city has taken its first steps towards success well wow, we've got six hundred thousand for that and we got um some extra rewards as well now there is a progression panel here um if i click on development i can like buy stuff with these points but i don't know what i'm going to need yet guys unfortunately so i'm not going to buy anything yet uh, but what did we just get so we got tiny village so we've got access to city budgets we got a couple more map tiles um Oh, medium density row housing and medium density. Oh, that's for North American. We're not doing North American, I don't think. Uh, we got some more roads. Oh, we got healthcare, and we got garbage management. Okay, that let's get those things in actually because we're going to need those, right? Um, I think we've got yeah, we've got a huge demand for residential. So let's get some residential buildings in. Now, because this is quite, this is like the commercial area, I think it would be good to get some medium um, residential in here. I'm going to do this to get this in. Uh, oh, no, actually, I don't want to go this way on these roads. I want to go the other way. So on these roads, I think because they bend around, it would be quite good to have the row, row housing actually bend around. So if I do... Uh, something like that, and then this, and then this. There we go. We'll get some row housing there. We'll get some row housing here. And some over there. I think this will just look better in the long run. And over that way. I don't think we can put any here because it's connected to this road. I don't really want that. So we can put a service there, though. So that's good to know. Uh, we'll do, again, row housing like that, and like that, and like that, and then like that. Okay, uh, we'll leave that. Actually, we'll leave this o o um, blank again for services. I'm going to do... Um, I don't think I can do much about these spaces here unfortunately so we'll leave those we do have a lot of demand for low density though so i'm going to do our low density buildings uh over here so if i do that i'm going to do a bunch of them there we go i'll just do loads this might be overkill this is probably definitely overkill there we go, that's in. So we've got, like I said, we've got some services, right? So we've got healthcare now, so we can get a medical clinic in here. I could put that, oh, it's quite big. Ooh. Okay, that is quite big. Oh, I could do it over here, though. Yeah, let's do this, then. 
there we go so we got a clinic there that was a really good place for them I'm quite pleased I found that and what's this death kit oh we got a cemetery Ooh. where can I put this oh this is big this is really big we'll have to put this out of town oh my god why is this so big it's huge I wonder if it'd fit in there oh I should have made that just a tiny bit bigger and then it would have fit Okay, I'm literally melting in this heat. Okay, stop complaining about the heat, all right? You could be living in the UK and be having, like, torrential rain constantly. So get over it. I'll leave that for now. I don't know where to put that. Uh, we've got this, though, as well. We've got a landfill site, which we can zone in. I'm thinking about doing it over here next to the industry. And now we can do something like... Oh, there's a road there that I need to watch out for. Damn it. Didn't think about the road. I've already placed it. Uh, too late. <laughs> well, I might have to... No, I'm going to have to move it. I'll have to. How do I move it? Can I... Is this move? Start emptying. Um, relocate. Here we go. Let's put this... I guess we'll put it on this side then. Mm, I don't want it to affect our citizens. That's the problem. I'll put it in here in the forest. And then we'll do... Oh, I'm going to lose a lot of forestry now, though. I don't know if that's an issue. Um, if I do... Something like that. And I'll just do a square one for now, I think. There we go. There's our landfill. Takes up a lot of forest, but we're not going to see it, which is important. I'm appalled at how healthcare is running the city. What are you on about? It's great. The healthcare is perfect. It couldn't be better. It literally couldn't be better. I have nothing else to do apart from the, the death care. So I should probably get a road or something set up for that, actually. Now, what I think I can do... I actually think if I click on road, there's, there's a way that I can... Just move it. I'm not sure how to do it, though, is the problem. Uh, I wonder if it's one of these buttons. Uh, tap to zone, snap guide, snap guide, snap guide. Um, panel, how do I move? How do I move a road? I'm sure there's a way to do it because I've seen other people doing it. I just don't know how, how that... Uh, snap to side of builds. Do I like control or shift or alt? Oh, I wish I knew how to do this. Uh, for a start, I needed to put my elevation down. I didn't know I could do elevation there. I've just seen it. What if I just click on it? If I just get rid of roads and I just click on the actual road? Does that work? How do I move them? I'll cut my losses. I'll build across here like that. And then I'll just do it here. So uh, it was in the death key. It was the cemetery. And we'll put that... We'll put it by here. Why not? Oh, no. I think... The thing is, I think these people will like it. All right. Change of plan. I'm going to delete this road. And I'm going to put it off this. So if I do that and then put it there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this building, guys. That is absolutely awesome. I mean, sorry about the rain, but still, that's glorious. I think it's getting nighttime as well, Interest interestingly enough. Oh, it's getting very rainy and very dark, guys. I just want to see what the night looks like and then I will switch it to daytime only. So bear with me. Oh, it's literally just becoming night right now. Ooh, okay, so it's kind of like City Skylines 2 in the dark where you can't really see what you're doing. What if I try and draw roads? Oh, well, actually, that does make it easier to draw roads. The fact that this is white, because I can see quite clearly where the roads are now. Uh, what if I wanted to do, like, all of this stuff? Oh. Actually, guys, to be fair, it does sort of... It, it purposely lights it up when you're placing buildings and stuff. So it is better to, to do stuff at night in, in this game. But let's, let's quickly change this. So we're going to go to Settings, Options... And we're going to go to day-night visuals. We're going to turn those off. And then I think if I come out now, hopefully we'll get daytime. Uh, but it's still rainy, unfortunately. Can't do anything about the rain. Got loads of demand here. We need to get some, um, some businesses in by the looks of things. I'm going to put some commercial businesses all down the side here. I'm not going to have them connect to that main road, though. And I think what I may do is just get this and get a footpath. I think it's here. There we go. And... How do I do these? Can I connect these up? If I do... Does that connect if I do that? Yes, it does connect. Perfect. Now, I think there's another way I can do these. I think I can do something like... Um, let's say I was to do... I need to find a good place for it. Let's say right, right here I want to do a footpath from this road and I wanted a crossing. I can actually click on the road and it will create a crossing, uh, which is definitely new, right? That wasn't in the old games. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's really cool. Um, for walkability's sake, I think I might actually add a little a little walkway around here. Oh, and you can... Re they snap to it as well, so you can get that really tight. 
Oh, I love that. Oh, milestone two unlocked. Small village. Congratulations, you're moving ahead very nicely. We've got a huge reward for that again. We've got loads of progression. I'm probably at a point now where I'm going to need to start buying stuff, right? So I'm going to need like, oh, education. Yeah, so I could start, I could start buying education stuff. Um, incinerators. All of this jazz. So, okay. I'm at a point now, guys, where I'm going to have to start. Oh, what's this? Is this a crash? Is that a crash over there? No, what does that mean? Oh, waiting for a hearse. Ooh. Ooh, yucky. Okay, someone died. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so I'm at a point, yeah, where I'm thinking it's probably a good place to end this episode because I've done a lot, I've explored a lot, and I don't want this video to be so long that it'll take me ages to edit and ages to get out to you guys. So I'd like it to be out hopefully today, if not tomorrow. Um, oh, but let's just take a look at this because all of these citizens have, have moved in. It looks great. It looks really good. What am I? What have I got up? I've got this up. Let's get rid of that. Helen Mills, that's fine. All right, so I've got, yeah, a bunch of people have now moved in. Looking great as well. That really looks good. Love that. So that's the low density. And now I've got, I do have these guys over here. This is medium density residential. Why don't I have anything here? What's, what's going on here? There's definitely zoning. So why aren't they... Moving in. Is it zoned off the wrong road? Hang on. What if I do... I know I said I was going to go, but let me just do this first. <laughs> um, I want this to be on... Oh. There we go. Okay, so if I do... That. Uh, yeah, it's because it was zoned to the wrong side. Okay. And I'm guessing this is the same. Oh, that's interesting that you can't just trust it to pick the right place. That's really interesting. Is anyone else zoned a little bit like that? Yes. So up here, we need to change this out. And then also along here. And then I'm going to get my zoning. My medium density zone. Oh, what's this? European style apartment buildings. We've got those now as well. That's good. So there's that, and that, and then we can do this, and this, and this. Okay, hopefully now that should work. I'm guessing as well, if I did the same thing here with the path, I think that would probably work here as well. Yeah, so now if I do this... It was onto that road. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to look hopefully a, a bunch better. Let's just watch these guys build in. This is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I like these houses. Again, not really British houses. You wouldn't see these in Britain. Uh, oh, you'd see these. These look fairly British. Yeah, you would see houses like this. That's cool. <laughs> anyway, I think this is probably the best place to leave things for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've learned a bunch. We've got a load of demand ready for next episode. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on your way out uh, so that you're reminded next time that I post a video, you'll be the first to see it. Thanks for watching. I'm Gwent Gamer. Goodbye.